Lawyers for Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott are fighting to keep their client on the field. CBS 11's Bill Jones joining us in studio now with their latest effort this afternoon. Bill, what's the latest? Well, Ken, the clock is ticking on an Ezekiel Elliott appeal of a New York judge's ruling last night, and attorneys are pulling out all the stops trying to send this case into overtime. They've asked the district judge for a more limited injunction by 7 o'clock tomorrow night. And within the last half hour, the NFL Players Association representing Elliott filed an appeal with the Second Circuit Court of Appeals in New York after a preliminary injunction was denied last night. One of the main points the NFLPA is making, this is the first court to conclude that an athlete does not suffer irreparable harm when wrongfully suspended. This comes on the heels of Elliott and his legal team losing their case on all counts in Judge Catherine Polk Fiella's court last night. What appeared to be a knockout punch as Elliott's six-game suspension is set to kick in this week unless his attorneys can win this appeal. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones remains Steadfast in his support of Elliott in an appearance on 1053 The Fan this morning. This is not an issue of, of uh, uh, whether or not we're against domestic violence or not. Uh, if uh, we have a player or we have somebody guilty of domestic violence, they shouldn't play. Uh, but this is not the case. He's not. In our society, he's not guilty of that. And there's another twist to this Zeke case. Did the New York judge who denied the preliminary injunction have a conflict of interest? And should she have recused herself from the case? More questions to get answered in the upcoming hours and days. Bill, thank you very much. Uh, we want to talk a little bit more about this. Uh, joining us now in studio is legal expert Quinton Brogdon. Uh, thanks so much for being with us here. Thanks, Ken. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this appeal. Uh, this was not unexpected, right? It was expected. And the prediction is it's going to go pretty quickly. And within a day or two, Probably the judge's ruling in New York is going to be upheld. Okay. And we just heard Bill mention this. The big conversation today is this question about recusal. Why are many saying the judge should not even be entering into this debate because of her husband's links to the NFL? The judge here is Judge Catherine Faya. She's a Barack Obama appointee, Harvard Law School educated. There's no indication at all that she did anything except make a ruling based on the facts and the evidence. But she is married to. Uh, her husband, who uh, works at the firm Proskauer Rose, who helped negotiate the CBA, the Collective Bargaining Agreement. So some have raised the issue, although her husband and his firm, they're not in the case, the Collective Bargaining Agreement most definitely is in the case. One of the issues is whether the NFL had the rights under the, NF, uh, under the Collective Bargaining Agreement to discipline Zeke in the way they did. Now, we have just learned that this appeal has been denied. Can you break this down for our viewers? What does it mean? In the last 10 seconds, uh, they told us right <laughs> in our, as, as we were chatting here. It means it's, it's going denied. to come to a head pretty quickly here. Probably it's going to be upheld, the suspension. Probably Zeke is not going to be playing the next six games. Is there another step at this point? And the reason I ask is because every time we think that we have seen some finality in all of this, there's another kind of appeal. So at this point, has everything been exhausted, you think? He's filed an emergency appeal to go up. Uh, to the circuit court above. They're going to show a great bit of deference to this judge, Catherine Faya, unless she recuses herself now after these questions have right, been raised right, right. and a new judge comes in at the district court level. Probably her refusal of the injunction is going to be upheld. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Brogdon, thanks so much for joining us here in studio, breaking this all down for us. This is something that we will certainly be keeping a close eye on. Thank thanks you for being so with much. us.